Hello, welcome back to another video, my fellow gamers. It's Lydia here. So today I thought I would chat to you about my PlayStation 4 collection, as you may have guessed from the background light that I've got on today. Um, so PlayStation 4 is really my main platform and it's still one of my favorite consoles. So I thought I couldn't really not have a PlayStation 4 collection video. So despite the fact that I really love retro and that I talk about my retro consoles a lot, probably PlayStation 4 and the Nintendo Switch are uh, my two main consoles still because I do still really love modern games as well. There's so many great games out there, so many great indie game titles and also a lot of AAA games that are also really awesome. And some of my favourite games are on the PlayStation 4 or the PlayStation 3 as well. So we're going to be having a look at the actual console, some of the accessories that I've got for it, but mainly be talking about the games that I've got why I enjoy the PlayStation console so much and what are my favourite games in my collection too. So without further ado, let's have a look at what I've got. So let's start off with the console itself. Ta -da! So it may surprise you to see that I haven't got the slim version or any of the updated versions. It's just the plain old original black one. I can't actually remember if it's 500 gigabytes or it's one terabyte, but I do actually have an external storage for it because it's just never enough. And I've actually almost filled up my external storage as well. So that's about two terabytes on top of that. But yeah, it's just the plain old one. I actually really like the shape of it. I'm not as keen on the slim one. I much prefer the original. And yeah, I bought it for brand new and I got it in a Black Friday sale and I've had it for about six years now, I think. Yeah, so it's getting on in years, but it's done me really well for that amount of time. And obviously you can't talk about the console without talking about the controllers too. So I have three controllers. I actually got rid of the black original one that came with it. So I have the white one, as you can see. I like having the stickers on here. So I've got a free cyberpunk one that I got with a PlayStation magazine on there. And I've got your little um, thumb things on there, whatever you want to call them, thumb grips, yeah. The little PlayStation ones. I think they also came with the magazine too. But yeah, I really like the white one. I just really enjoy the sort of white matte feel of it. It's really cool. And then this one's actually probably my favourite because blue is my favourite colour. So it's the crystal blue one and I just think it's the best colour controller. And I really like all the crystal ones. I just think they're such awesome colours and I love being able to see everything that's inside the controller as well. And yeah, this one's the same, it's also got the PlayStation logo there too. For those of you that have followed me for quite a while, the reason why I have a lot of thumb grips on quite a lot of them is that my pet rats used to bite through them. <laughs> I've actually been meaning to glue this back on a little bit, but yeah, it's a bit annoying and that's kind of why I have a lot of thumb grips on them because yeah, they used to just bite through anything that wasn't rock solid so yeah that's a little bit of memorabilia from them because they all sadly have passed away now and then last but not least i have the 500 million exclusive controller now this is probably my second favorite out of all of my controllers again blue and i love the color although it's a bit darker so that's why i prefer the other one because it's a lighter blue but i just think it's such a beautiful color it's so shiny I really do love it and as you can see I've got some thumb grips on those but they're not my favourite but that's all I had at the time but yeah it's definitely one of my favourites and then I have a Final Fantasy sticker on there too. But yeah that's all the controllers that I have for the console. To go with the 500 million controller I also got the 500 million um I think they're the silver ones I can't actually remember which of the headsets these are but yeah I just really like them. They're really, really sleek. I don't use them a huge amount now. I used to use them a lot when I was streaming, um, but because I live on my own, there's kind of no need for me to use headsets much anymore unless I'm talking to someone and playing online. But yeah, they're really nice. They're really comfortable. And again, I love the color and they're a really sleek design and they're good quality really. So yeah, that's another one of my accessories. In terms of other accessories, I don't really have a lot for the PlayStation 4. Kind of feel there's no need for it. The only things that I really do have is the charger, which is just a third party charger for the controllers. It just plugs into the USB port, but it's really, really handy since I have three. So I can always have two controllers on charge. 
And then I also have the two terabyte um, Seagate external hard drive, which is a lifesaver because I do find that I have so many games, not only um, storage wise, but also I have a lot of digital games from the PlayStation store as well. So it's really, really handy to get extra storage so that you don't have to keep deleting games. Ta-da! Here's my physical game collection. <laughs> so at the moment there's about 63 physical copies of games in my PlayStation 4 collection. It's not a huge, huge amount, but by far it is one of my biggest physical collections. It probably is one of my biggest digital collections as well, but I'm not gonna go into digital collections. I just wanna talk about my physical games. So you might spot quite a few classics here. There's quite a few that are exclusives, quite a few that are classics, and also, you know, quite a few of the indie games as well, some Japanese games in there too. So I'm going to talk about a few of mine that are my favourites, some of them that are a bit more unique and that are really, really special and that I think you shouldn't miss out on and also a few that I haven't played yet. Now, I think one of my favorite things about this particular collection is I have actually played most of the games that I've got on this. I'm a bit slow sometimes in getting through some of my other console games, but my PlayStation 4 one, I'm generally really good at sitting down and just paying all my attention to a particular game for a particular point in time. So I have played most of the games in this collection. So I can talk about most of them. I won't just because that will take me forever. But yeah, I'm gonna go through a few of my favorite and talk you through why they are so. So you may have taken a hint from my previous screenshot that one of the games that I was going to be talking about is Ghost of Tsushima. Now I think this game is one of the best games that's on the PlayStation 4. Now why is that? Well look at it, it's absolutely stunning, it's really really beautiful, the landscape of the island of Tsushima is just amazing and stunning, all the different areas look so different, it's just really colourful and vibrant and I just found walking around the island so relaxing or riding a horse through the island so relaxing too and yeah just so much of it is really really stunning. One of the other things that I really enjoyed about the game and that's really integral to the game is the combat. Now the combat feels really sleek and smooth. When you get to certain bosses it feels so cinematic and it's so engaging to play as well. Even when you're doing sort of mundane things and very sort of gamey things like collecting collectibles then it's still really fun and because the atmosphere is so perfect it's just so much fun to do those things and so visually appealing too. The story is really interesting too, obviously there's a lot of history behind it and it is based on kind of real events too and I just find that the samurai, the culture of samurai really comes through in this and it's so much fun to play and Jin is such a great character and he's not one dimensional, he can feel like it at first but the more you play the game the more you get to know him and the more he really shines through. I also really enjoyed all the different armor selections and how you can upgrade it and how you can customize it. That's really fun. You can choose the horse you want and the name for it as well. And yeah, just so much of the game is really well put together. Nothing groundbreaking about the game itself, but it's just really stunning and I can't recommend it enough. Now, another game that I really recommend for the PlayStation 4 that I think is very unique is Gravity Rush 2. Now, you can get the first one as well on the PlayStation 4 as well, but I've only played that one on the Vita so I can't really speak for how well it plays on the PlayStation 4 but Gravity Rush is really really good. Now with the second one the graphics look much better, it's much more stylized and I feel like the gameplay was a lot smoother. The story is really interesting, I love the art style, colour wise it's very unique and pretty and the worlds are just really well designed. There's not loads and loads of depth to it but the gameplay is fun, you basically use gravity to your advantage, you have superpower essentially that you can play with gravity and you use this for combat and you use it to move around as well and you can fly through the sky and you can basically go through onto all different sides of buildings and it's just so much fun. I really really enjoy the mechanics of the game and the combat is super interesting and has a lot of depth to it as well and like I said story is great too so they're not super long games so you don't have to sink loads and loads of hours into it and I just think it's a game that you should definitely not miss if you have a PlayStation 4. Now obviously I was never going to talk about the PlayStation 4 without talking about Yakuza and Judgment. So basically anyone knows that follows me and my videos knows that the Yakuza games are my favourite ever game series and games. Now if you don't know why well 
maybe I should go into why again, but I just think they're all so amazing. <laughs> now, there's so many reasons why I think these games are really amazing, and I could go in on and on and on about them, and maybe I'll do another video. I did do one a little while ago about them, but it's a bit outdated now. But anyway, these are what I've got for the PlayStation 4. So I have Yakuza Like a Dragon, which is what we've got on in the background here. This one is one of my favourite covers because it's got the most stunning still book. It's really stunning and it's a really great game. This is one of the few that are really different combat wise. Basically it's more of an RPG style and it's got turn based combat. The rest are sort of more not hack and slash but beat em up style and you can change your fighting style but they very much are button mashers whereas this is a lot more strategic and it is turn based and for that reason it's a pretty cool game. It's also a completely different story to all the other Yakuza games. This one takes place in the same world but it doesn't take place with the same characters so you can come to this game completely fresh if you've not played the other games and I do re really recommend it especially if you enjoy RPGs but even if you don't I don't particularly like turn-based combat and I still think this game is really amazing so definitely give this one a go. Then next up I also have Yakuza 0, Yakuza Kiwami 1 and 2 and Yakuza 6, Yakuza 3 to 5 they are on my PlayStation 3. I will get the remakes for the PlayStation 4 eventually but at the moment I'm happy with what I've got as I've already played them. Yakuza 0 is great, it's a prequel to the series so you go back all the way to the 80s, it's got lots of fun mini games but it was one of the first ones that was on the PlayStation 4 so to me it plays a little bit more outdated than the other ones but it still really holds up well and a lot of people feel it's their favourite in the series. Now Yakuza Kiwami is a remake of the first game that came out on the PlayStation 2 and it's a full remake but it stays very faithful to the original games. I think it's amazing and definitely one of the best games of the series. Really love the story, really enjoy the gameplay and also look at how amazing the still book is. You've got like the tattoo style at the back. It's lovely, I love it. And then Yakuza 2. Again, this is a remake of the second Yakuza, which was on the PlayStation 2 only. Again, very well remade and an amazing still book yet again. I actually prefer the gameplay and the mini games on this game. I think story wise it's a little bit weaker than the first Yakuza but I think gameplay wise I actually prefer this one so definitely play both of them if you enjoy them. And then next up I have Yakuza 6 which is the last of Kiryu's story and it's really touching and I really enjoy seeing Kiryu's progression in, in the story and seeing him become basically like a foster dad almost and seeing how he protects Haruka which is his like adopted daughter in this. It wasn't one of my favourite stories, I did like the gameplay, it didn't feel quite as in depth as the other games and I thought the story got a little bit over the top towards the end so story wise it's probably one of my least favourite ones but it's still really really worth play and I really do recommend any of the games in the series and inside you've got basically an art book which is really cool it's basically full of fan art and this is kind of the standard edition and then you've got the disc in there as well so yeah again they're all amazing games and I really would recommend them. Now if you still really don't have enough Yakuza content and you want more, there are more games to the series that aren't part of the main story and that is the Judgment games. They take part in the same universe but instead of playing as Kiru or another member of the Yakuza, you play as a detective. Now I haven't played Lost Judgment yet, this is the sequel to Judgment. Um, but Judgment is a really really amazing game. Basically it's got very very similar gameplay, it takes place in the same world so if you love the Yakuza games you're gonna love this. I think the story is really really dramatic and really engaging but you've also got some more um, added depth to it so you play as a detective and you have lots of detective mini games, there's drone racing in there as well and I just thought it was definitely one of the best installments of the whole series even though it's technically not a Yakuza game it's very very similar so you're gonna love it if you love the Yakuza games and if you don't want to start playing the Yakuza games because it seems a bit daunting maybe start off with Judgment first. I guarantee you will love it. So my second favourite series or game series is Ratchet and Clank. Now oh, 
I love Ratchet and Clank so much. It's just the story, the style of the characters and the gameplay and the humour, it's all just so much fun and you really can't help but love these games. They're all really, really great fun. Now, most of them are on the PlayStation 3. There's obviously the original trilogy that's on the PlayStation 2. I really, really do enjoy the PlayStation 4 game, which is a kind of remake of the first game. It's just really wonderfully stylized. I think the gameplay is so much fun. It's obviously really smooth because it's on a modern console. I really enjoyed the story and the combat is so much fun with all the different guns. If you've never played these games before, basically it's a kind of um, combat shooter 3D platformer. It's not necessarily open world, you do kind of have worlds that you can um, free explore but they're not huge but that doesn't really matter because you feel like there's lots to explore as it is and they're all just so well designed that you can't help but love them. There is a little bit of puzzle involved as well but it's mostly shooting your way through things with loads of crazy weapons that are so much fun to use. There's one that you can use that turns things into sheep and there's another one that can make them dance and it's just so much fun. The humour is great, I really enjoy them and if you enjoy sort of those nostalgic PlayStation 2 platformers and you're missing that then Ratchet and Clank is the perfect game for that and with the new one that's out now on the PS5 this is a perfect game to have it's still really cheap and it's just great and you won't regret playing it Another game that I think is an absolute must as far as exclusives go, that is the Uncharted series. Now, actually my favorite of the series is Uncharted 4. I think it's really unparalleled through all the game series. The original three, they're really good, but they can be a bit clunky and they're a bit too cover shooty for my liking. Whereas I thought four struck a really, really good balance between combat and story and also just exploring as well. I felt like there was much more puzzles in it and much more exploring to it and it's just really really stunning the way it plays it's definitely a masterpiece really drake is so charming he's such a fun character and i just find like that indiana jones-esque kind of style of game is really really appealing and i really enjoy it it's basically tomb raider but with a different character and maybe slightly more realistic um definitely as far as four goes anyway and yeah, it's just an amazing game. 4 will definitely be the best. You don't have to play all the other games to understand what's going on. It kind of takes place a bit differently and it gives you a bit more context of what's happening. So you don't have to play the first three games. So definitely try and give it a play. You won't regret it. It's such a beautiful game and yeah, just a really great play and it doesn't take very long to play it's only about 10-15 hours and yeah you can get it really really cheap now as well and it's definitely one of the best exclusives on the ps4 now talking about the playstation i couldn't not talk about final fantasy in some kind of formal capacity so obviously i had to mention final fantasy 7 remake now i only played the original for a little bit i didn't completely finish it i found it a little bit too much of a grind um but you won't feel this way about the remake they've improved quite a lot of the combat it's a lot more fun it's not strictly turn-based and yeah it's a lot more accessible i think for modern players the particular version that I've got is the deluxe one and I don't get many special editions of PS4 games so this is quite special to me and look at the holographic it's really cool and then inside it's got a mini soundtrack and the art book has lots of character designs in it and world designs and then it also comes with a steelbook too which has Sephiroth on the front and yeah I just think it's a really fun game to play the story is quite in depth the world is quite in depth and it just brings it a lot more to life than the original game so yeah definitely don't give this a miss now a potentially underrated game that's an exclusive for the PS4 is Infamous Second Son. Now this is actually a game series, I've played most of the games in this series and I really like them. I think the story is kind of unique, you're going to get to play around with superhero powers that revolve around light and electricity and power and it's super fun, you can choose whether you want to go the light direction or the dark direction and you can kind of just choose your story and the combat's a lot of fun. The worlds are really fun to explore too. They can get a bit repetitive, which is maybe why they're not really, really popular. But I do think they're really good games and 
you can pick them up really really cheap and just no one seems to talk about them and I think more people should because I think there is a lot of good elements of this game. It's just so much fun, you can fly around the city and explore and visually it's pretty interesting too. I just think it's a really good exclusive that often gets missed and yeah go check it out if you haven't already because I do think it's a pretty underrated game. Now, as mentioned before, I don't have a huge amount of games in my backlog for the PlayStation 4. I have actually played and completed most of the games, surprisingly, but there are a few that I haven't played yet. So first up is Indivisible, which I believe is a kind of really stylized um, hack and slash platformer. It sounds really, really interesting. The art style looks really cool. Featured in one of my pickup videos recently. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077, dare I say it. It's been in my backlog for ages, kind of for obvious reasons. I've put off playing it because I'm not sure how bad it is. It is my goal to be playing it this year, so I will get around to it eventually. I was so excited for this game and so disappointed to see how it came about eventually, but yeah, I'm still gonna play it and hopefully most of the bugs will be fixed when I get around to playing it, and yeah. It's pretty cool, you know, though. it came with like a still book and it came with um, various maps and stuff. So, you know, I felt like it was pretty cool and well done. But yeah, very disappointing, unfortunately. Then next up, I've got Shenmue 3. I recently played 1 and 2 through on the PlayStation. I really enjoyed them. They are very old games, but they do hold up pretty well as far as graphics go. And the story is pretty cool. They're very, very slow paced. And I think that is maybe like the downfall and sometimes it can be a bit finicky, but I did really enjoy them all in all. You just have to be really patient with them. But yeah, I've heard very mixed things about Shenmue 3, so I've kind of put it off, but I bought it really, really cheap. So I thought I would try and give it a go because I can't really lose. So yeah, that's on the list of play. Monkey King Hero is back. Now this has very mixed reviews again. I don't think it's anything amazing, but I picked it up for like three pound brand new. So I can't really complain at that. It does look fun. I really like the idea of playing something that's got a bit of Chinese history and mythology mixed in with it. I really enjoy Chinese culture as well. So it should be a really interesting play. And another one that I've got is our world is ended. Now this is a Japanese visual novel. I really like the art style and the cover is really cool. I've got a few uh, visual novels, but I tend to play them more on the Switch just because I tend to pick that up and play a lot more. But I have got a couple on the PlayStation 4 just because they tend to be a lot cheaper than on the Switch. So yeah, that's another one that I've got. And last but not least, I have Nino Kuni 2. Now, obviously everyone rants and raves about Nino Kuni, so I thought I'd finally give it a go. I've not played any of the games before, kind of don't really know what to expect, apart from the fact that people love them and they're a kind of cult classic. So yeah, that's on the list and it obviously looks really stunning and it's got the kind of Studio Ghibli style. So really, really looking forward to giving that play eventually. But that really concludes the video. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed having a look through my PlayStation 4 collection and some of the games that I really enjoy. Obviously there's so, so many amazing games on the PlayStation 4. It truly is a really, really amazing platform. So many good games um, such as Horizon Zero Dawn, God of War, Spider-Man, the list goes on. I didn't mention those just because I feel like it goes without saying they're pretty amazing games and they've already got so much hype about them. Do definitely check out a lot of the games that I've mentioned and maybe some other ones that you've seen here because I've kept them for a good reason. Thank you again so much for watching guys. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and comment and let me know down below what's your favourite PlayStation 4 game. Are there any that you really hated that I mentioned or any that you really agree with? I am really interested to know and I like hearing your opinions about them too. Don't forget to find me on social media as well if you want to keep up to date. I'll leave all the links down below. Also don't forget to subscribe and click that notification button so you don't miss out on any future videos as well. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.